Set up ExpressVPN on Kodi for Android. This tutorial will teach you how to set up and watch Kodi using ExpressVPN on Android. The below four parts will also work for Android TV box. Please ensure your Android TV box can run ExpressVPN, see slash review this vid at https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark v equal sign mqbgegy854s, before proceeding. General contents, part 1, on your Android device, launch the ExpressVPN app for Android. If you haven't installed the app yet, see the following instructions on installing ExpressVPN on Android. Part 2, tap on choose location and tap on the location of your choice to connect. Part 3, verify that your IP address has been changed. Part 4, open Kodi and use it as you normally would. For instructions on installing Kodi on Android, see the official guide later. Part 1 will show you how to download, set up, and use your VPN app for Android. This tutorial is for ExpressVPN for Android version 6.0, which is compatible with Android 4.0 and up, Ice Cream Sandwich, 4.0, Jelly Bean, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, Kit Kat, 4.4, and Lollipop, 5.x, Marshmallow, 6.x, and Nugget, 7.x. Contents, sign into your account. Download the VPN app. Set up the VPN app. Connect to a VPN server location. Disconnect from a VPN server location. Choose a different server location. How to run the ping test. How to switch VPN protocols. How to add the Express VPN widget to your home screen. How to uninstall the VPN app from your device. Troubleshoot connection issues. 1. Sign into your account. To begin, open a web browser on your device and sign into your Express VPN account. To sign in, enter the email address and password you used to sign up for Express VPN and tap sign in. After signing in, tap on Set up Express VPN. You will take into the downloads page to download your app to download Express VPN app for Android. Navigate to the Android section, then download the app by doing one of the following. If you can access Google Play, tap Get it on Google Play to download the app. If you cannot access Google Play, tap Download APK to download the APK to your Android device. You can also download the Express VPN APK from Amazon at https colon slash slash www.amazon.com slash express hyphen VPN hyphen high hyphen speed hyphen encrypted slash dp slash b 0 0 gas one t 9 u For more information about downloading APKs, see this guide, later. If you downloaded the app from Google Play, 1, tap install on the Google Play Store page for Express VPN. 2, tap accept, then wait while the app downloads. 3, tap open after the app has been downloaded to your device. If you downloaded the Express VPN app for Android APK from another source, 1, tap OK to allow the APK to download. Make sure you've allowed non-Play Store downloads to your device first. 2, wait for the APK to download. 3, after the APK has finished downloading, tap Open to open it. 4, after opening the APK, you will be asked to give permissions for the app to install. Tap Install to install the app. 5, wait for your app to finish installing, then tap Open to launch the app. 3, set up the VPN app. As soon as you open the Express VPN app for Android, you will be signed into your account. Your app will ask if you'd like to share anonymous information to help make ExpressVPN faster and more reliable. Tap OK if you'd like to share anonymous analytics. 4. Connect to a VPN server location. To connect to a VPN server location, tap the On button. By default, ExpressVPN will suggest the location that provides the most optimal experience for you, called Smart Location. The first time you try connecting to a VPN server, you will see an Allow Connection notification. Tap OK to proceed. Once you see the VPN is on message on the app screen, you can begin surfing with freedom and security. Note, a single Express VPN subscription can be used simultaneously on three devices, regardless of platform. If you try to use more than three devices simultaneously on one subscription, you will see the below screen you've exceeded Express device usage limit. 5. Disconnect from a VPN server location. To disconnect from the VPN server, tap the on button while the VPN is on. You will know you are disconnected when the VPN is off message shown. 6. Choose a different VPN server location. To connect to a different server location, tap on Choose Location to launch the location picker. You can search for a location via text search or speech search. To activate either search function, tap the search bar. After activating the search function, you can search by typing or speaking into your device. Text search, type the name of the country or city you'd like to connect to. When the location appears in the search results, tap the location to connect. Speech search, say the name of the country or city you'd like to connect to. ExpressVPN will list the server locations corresponding to your spoken location name. Tap the location you'd like to connect to. 7. How to run the ping test. To run the ping test, tap the speedometer icon at the top of the screen. Note, you must be disconnected from the VPN in order to run the ping test. Tap run test to run the ping test. 8. How to switch VPN protocols. VPN protocols are the methods by which your device connects to a VPN server. Switching to a different protocol can help you achieve faster connection speeds. To switch VPN protocols, tap the about menu, in the top left corner of the screen. In the menu, tap settings. From the settings menu, under VPN settings, Tap VPN protocol. Select your preferred protocol by tapping on it. 9. 
How to add the ExpressVPN widget to your home screen. To add the ExpressVPN widget and hold an empty spot on the home screen. Tap the widgets icon. Tap and hold the ExpressVPN widget and drag it upwards. Drag the widget to your preferred screen. Tada! The widget is now on your home screen. Use the widget to connect and disconnect the VPN without opening the app. 10. How to uninstall the VPN app from your device. To uninstall ExpressVPN from your Android device, tap and hold the ExpressVPN icon on the home screen, then drag it to the uninstall garbage can. You will see an uninstall confirmation message. Tap OK. The app is now deleted from your device. 11. Trouble connecting? Try the below tips. 1. If you're having trouble connecting on Android Lollipop, please refer to the below troubleshooting tips. Uninstall ExpressVPN from the device. Power off device. Turn on device. Download and install ExpressVPN from Google Play Store. Log in with your ExpressVPN account credentials. Connect to a VPN and when prompted with the connection request dialog, click OK. Can't access Google Play? If you are in a country where the Google Play Store is blocked, log into your ExpressVPN account at https colon slash slash www.expressvpn.com slash user slash sign underscore in, then go to the setup section. From there, you can manually download the APK file to install Google Play on your device. If you encounter the ton driver missing error, please use the following troubleshooting guide to fix it. Recommended, connect manually to our gateways by configuring your Android settings. Here are the setup instructions, later. Note, this only applies to paid subscriptions and not for trial subscriptions. There is no manual setup available for trial accounts. Install a compatible ton driver for your device. Note, this is only applicable for rooted devices. See more info at http colon slash slash www.cnet.com slash how hyphen to slash how hyphen to hyphen easily hyphen root hyphen and hyphen android hyphen device. Upgrade your device to the latest OS release. Try using the ExpressVPN app on another Android device. Part 2, tap on choose location and tap on the location of your choice to connect. Part 3, verify that your IP address has been changed by paying a visit to the below page at https colon slash slash www.expressvpn.com slash what hyphen is hyphen my hyphen IP. Part 4, Open Kodi and use it as you normally would. For instructions on installing Kodi on Android, see the official tips at http colon slash slash view slash how hyphen to colon install underscore Kodi underscore for underscore Android.